Hello, this demonstration is going to cover automatic importing of sales orders into Sage 100 ERP, also known as MAS90 and MAS200. And it's going to use a product by Tacoa Software named Tacoa Data Manager. What this application does is it allows you to set up endpoints with third-party sources. So let's say in this example we have a big customer. And this big customer has an FTP site, or we have set up an FTP site, where <clears throat> uh, order information is going to be dropped off off uh, in the in an XML file format and then we're going to need that information that order to be picked up and automatically imported into our um, Sage 100 software so in this example here we have uh, we're going to say that the big retailer that we're working with is overstock.com and we're going to receive a customer purchase order from overstock.com and have that order automatically integrated into Sage 100. Now I'm going to do this in a very manual way so that I can demonstrate how the product functions. However, keep in mind that this is very easily automated and quite frequently automated in that the server will actually go out and on a schedule that you determine go out and look for new orders from your customer and import those and import that information into mass automatically and you set the schedule that it does that it does it in once an hour once a minute once a day whatever schedule you define is how often the server will go out and actually look for orders and bring them into sage 100 so that's completely customizable and determined by uh, the specific needs of your organization. And so uh, another thing that uh, is an important feature of the Tacoa Data Manager is that oftentimes the inventory items or maybe the customer number or something like that that is contained in the XML document. Let's just look at the XML document here that they're going to be sending us. For example, uh, there might be some information in here, for example, the item down here where I don't necessarily have that item in my inventory. It might be an item that they determine. It might be an item that um, is strictly for them, that only they understand, and that information needs to be translated in order for it to effectively be inserted into my Sage 100 application. And so just keep in mind that the Dakota Data Manager can also translate that information as it, as it comes in. And the way that we do that is by setting up other endpoints where we're actually caching uh, portions of your Tacoa, or excuse me, your Sage 100 ERP P software into the data manager so that we can translate the information that's coming in from the customer before it goes into a sales order for your uh, Sage 100 software. So I'm just going to uh, simulate this, uh, this transaction and I'm going to start by showing you here, here's Sage 100. You're familiar with that application, I'm sure. And we're going to just jump right in here to sales order entry real quick and I'm going to show you that there is uh, the last invoice or the last sales order number in there is sales order 20 um, and we're gonna see a new sales order pop in there with a new identity here in just a minute and so I just want to show you that there's nothing in there now so we're gonna go ahead and close that and then we're gonna simulate our big box retailer our big online online retailer uh, dropping off an XML file. So here's our XML file uh, that it contains the order information. In this particular case it's an 850 EDI document that's coming from our big box retailer and we want that to go into our Sage 100 ERP software sales order module and we want it to do it automatically and the reason that we want it to be done automatically is that it is quicker, it is easier, it is more accurate and uh, and we're more likely to get the information correct. So I'm going to simulate that here's the FTP site that is set up as an endpoint within Tacoa Data Manager and we're going to say that uh, this is where uh, the big box retailer is going to drop off their order. So an order comes in from the big box retailer that information gets sent over to um, to the FTP site which is set up as an endpoint in Tacoa Data Manager and then um, and it sits there waiting for uh, for the system to respond. And again, that can be scheduled and is completely determined by however often you want to go look for that information. So we're going to just drop this down here real quick. And then uh, we're going to simulate the integration uh, by clicking this shortcut here. But typically how this would normally happen is the server would be on a schedule and it would do this automatically based on how often you uh, want this to occur. And so it goes through the process. 
and then closes. We're going to come down here and we're going to take a look at the FTP site. And if I refresh that, you're going to see that, okay, the 850 document, the order that came in from our big box retailer uh, is now uh, been consumed and archived uh, in another directory on the server. And if we come over here and take a look at Sage 100, now we're going to go into sales order entry and take a look and see if our order got integrated. And we're going to go here and we're going to pull it open. And hey, look at that. There's sales order number 30 from overstock.com with all the line information and everything from the, from the XML document that we received from them. So it's important to know that... Um, that this is all performed using the Tacoa Data Manager. It can be completely automated. Um, it is a cloud service provided by Tacoa Software. And then what it does is it automates the transactions between you and uh, outside data partners, in this case a big box retailer where the information can come into your sales order entry. This could also be used for performing inventory transactions. It could be used for purchase orders, receipts, receipts of receipts of goods. Um, GL transactions can also do this. So really any place in Sage 100 where there is an in, a data entry screen, essentially, uh, the, the process can be automated so that the data manager brings information from outside third-party sources and inputs that information directly into your Sage 100 uh, application and if the information needs to be transformed or edited or uh, somehow changed in order to be compatible uh, with information that's inside your Sage system that can all be done within the Tacoa data manager as well. So this has been an example, just a quick example of how sales order automation and integration can be done using Sage 100 ERP and Tacoa data manager. If you have any additional questions or want more information, visit us online at www.tacoasoftware.com. Dot com. Click on the data manager link and get more information. You can also head out and visit us on www.tacoaerp.com uh, for more information about automating uh, upload information directly out of Sage 100 ERP and into Tacoa ERP. Thank you for your time.